I wasn't there when you lost our baby, and I should have been, and if I could go back. You know, what we went through, what we had and lost, it's, it's too much. And going back there now, it's still too much. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean to stir all that up again. It always happens, though, doesn't it? Whenever I'm with you, I always feel too much. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I just said that. It's okay. I just, you know, needed to be honest, I guess. Really? I feel the same way whenever I'm with you. This, the possibility that you're pregnant with David's child. You hate it. You accused me of marrying David because I was afraid of you. Is that what you think now? I get pregnant with David's child because I'm scared of you. It's just another way to punish you, push you away, hurt you. I know what it would mean to you to be able to carry this baby to term. I know you wouldn't use that. You've already lost so much. If you are pregnant, I don't give a damn who the father is. I wish you could carry the baby to term. You deserve that kind of happiness. That's probably just a bug. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, I'm glad you did. I am. Look, we agreed to live separate lives, but it doesn't mean that we just completely ignore our history, you know, and what we mean to each other. Just, um, just tell me what I can do. Can we just not talk about this we anymore? We talk about it. We have to talk about it, Greenland. We gotta figure out a way that we can be around each other. If it doesn't destroy us. So you think you're ready for something a little stronger than just uh, water? You know, I think we just do our business deal and head back to Pine Valley. And when we see each other, we smile, we nod, and we move on. Yeah, well, that might work for some people, but have you ever noticed how we're right there for each other when we're really needed? Unless one of us runs away. Yeah, we've run. But we always come back. One of us is in a tough spot, and the other one's right there. Do you remember when I found out that the bastard that raised me was actually my father? Do you remember how much rage and anger and hate there was in me? And it didn't phase you at all, did it? You just stuck right by me, and you made me, made me realize that I wasn't like him. I wasn't like him or my older brother. And if you hadn't been there, I honestly think things would be very, very different. All I did was remind you what a good man you are. After Leo died, when I was ready to take off my ring, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And you made me realize that I didn't die with him. Besides, who else would marry someone just to make sure she stays part of her own company. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can be kind of irresistible. I mean, you know, in a completely platonic kind of way. <laughs> you see, we've been friends for such a long time. We are friends before we were in love, before we were married, because we have a connection. And yes, a lot has changed, a lot has happened, we've changed. But the connection is still there, Greenlee. And I guess we could, you know, ignore it and pass each other on the street like polite strangers. Or we could try to find a way to honor it. To accept that we're part of each other and that we always will be. Can you do that? I think I already have. Can you? 
Hacker. <laughs> well, this proves one thing. What's that? I'm hungry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but since I've been back, you know, since I've been back, sometimes you've been acting like a grown-up and I've been acting like a child. Except maybe when I kidnapped you. It was a very adult kidnapping, though. You're <laughs> rational and reasonable. You just wanted me to listen and I was free to go. And don't forget the cupcake. Mmm. Cupcake was very good. Thank you. For what? For making me realize it was time to grow up. Take a breath. Do what I need to do. And that includes Kendall. I mean, I'm still furious, but after I had time to cool down, I realized you were right. She didn't deliberately try to kill me. And I can deal with this. Pregnant or not pregnant, I can handle it. Of course you can. <sighs> you okay? Actually, I feel a lot better. Yeah, I'm probably not pregnant at all. It's probably just my imagination. You know how I can run amok? Yes, I do. I know very well how your mind works. See in absolute dimension. Anticipamolo. Ciao. Was that language you were mangling Portuguese? Actually, there may have been some Italian in there, but yes, the meeting is on. Well, or was that Solana telling us to take a flying leap? I mean, you would know the difference, right? It's very, 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 very funny. Now, why don't you let me handle the meeting, OK? You stay here, rest, take care of yourself. I came here to negotiate. There's no way I'm going to sit in a hotel room while you have all the fun. Wow. You caved so easily. Well, I may not be bilingual, but you don't understand no in any language. <laughs> <laughs> How much fun was that? You were una estrella manina bella. Parabé. Parabé. Back to you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. I'm just glad that you got the rights to your packaging bag. Yes, Fusion Natural's back on track. Game on, Erica. We should celebrate. Champagne? Maybe not. Got another idea. I mean, you said we bought it, right? Because you didn't want to wait. Are you ready to find out? I won't be needing that anymore. I feel great. Fine, actually. Completely back to normal. Obviously, it was a false alarm. Are you sure? I mean, it can't hurt just to... You know. I'm, I'm just good as new. Better, even. We should pack and go home. I won't need this. You know, thank you for your concern, but it's probably just a scare. Actually, I'm sure of it. Well, as long as you're sure. Thank you. You know, for everything. You're right. The only way to move forward is to acknowledge what we had, not ignore it, and go from there. I better finish packing. Ryan, if you ever, um, if you need something, Someday, someone to talk to. I hope I can be there for you like you were for me. All I did was supply the crackers.